Today's date is July 24th, 2020, and as you can see here, we're at Marion Union Station. I was informed by some friends of mine from the Central Ohio Rail Fanning Group that the best time to come here is in the morning, between 10 and noon, and it tends to be the busiest as of right now. And it looks like that this suggestion turned out to pay off big time. So let's see how this went. While waiting for any trains to come through on this day, we see this. This is some sort of general purpose engine sitting on the interchange track between the CSX Mount Victory subdivision and the Norfolk Southern Sandusky District. Don't ask me what this is because I have absolutely no idea what this locomotive is. But I have reason to believe it's some sort of GP9 locomotive from a lease company. And for some reason, when I looked at it the first time with its pastel colors from this angle, I thought it was some sort of Chicago Northwestern locomotive. But it's not. It's a lease company GP9. And for some reason, it's here in Ohio. Okay, enough sightseeing. Let's get to the trains, shall we? At some point after seeing the mystery locomotive, I walked up to the CSX Columbus subdivision looking northbound and something caught my attention. There is a high green on Main 2, meaning that a train heading northbound on this line will be coming shortly. And within about 15-30 minutes of waiting, a CSX northbound coal train makes its way through. Are you going to wait? After some time of waiting since the coal train went through, the signal for the other track went green, and it was for a northbound local freight on the CSX Columbus subdivision. And as we see the gates go down, we see some idiot in a gray pickup truck cross the tracks while the gates are going down, which is something that you should never ever do at a railroad crossing. Anyways, here's the train, and let's pretend that we didn't see that. After some time of waiting in the hot sun after the local freight made its way through, the signals on the CSX Mount Victory subdivision gave us some good news. There was an approach for a westbound train that was going to be coming soon. However, the train that was given the approach didn't come just yet. A CSX eastbound intermodal train made its way through first, which was most likely Q008.
God, are we going to see a meet? After the intermodal train crossed the diamond here where the Mount Victory subdivision crosses the Norfolk Southern Sandusky District, the westbound also crosses the Sandusky District here, and it was an autorack train heading for Indiana or somewhere out west. As you saw in the previous clip, this turned into a meet when an eastbound intermodal, autorack, and manifest train snuck its way through behind the autorack train because we couldn't see it. And unfortunately, it had a YN2 AC 4400 trailing that we couldn't see. So, can't catch them all, I assume. the two CSX trains made their way across the Double Diamonds in Mary and we then went home. But later on in the day, we go out to Kyleville, Ohio on the CSX Scott's Long Secondary to watch the nightly CSX Q147 roll past us on its way to North Baltimore, Ohio. And by the way, this wasn't planned. This came along after we got home from Marion and when I was editing this video. So essentially, this is a bonus. So, yeah. Anyways, here's Q147.
reason why we came out for Q147 on this day was the two big GEs pulling it. Leading the train is CSX 7207, a rebuilt GE CM44AH, and trailing behind him is CSX 481, a GE AC 4400CW, and as you can see, 41 still wears its as-delivered YN2 paint scheme, and this lash up kind of showcases the pre-rebuild and after-rebuild of the AC 4400s, and by the way, the AC 4400s are on the endangered list because of the modernizations with the CM44 rebuild project. So if you see any AC 44s in your area, get your pictures while you can because I don't think they have much time left. As Q147 races into the sunset, this will now conclude yet another video. As you saw, CSX has been putting on a show for us a lot lately. Anyways, hit the like button down below, leave a comment and tell me what you think of it, subscribe to my channel, and tap the bell button to be notified when I get a new video out. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.